Hawkins Manufacturing presents the Hawkins Corn Reel. The Hawkins Corn Reel is a down crop saver and a fluff mover. The Hawkins Corn Reel in this video is featured on the John Deere 606C corn head. Most John Deere C heads have an open channel design header beam. The header beam above the feeder house is of a tubular design, but outside of the feeder house, the tin of the head comes up, over, and down, leaving the bottom open. This open design requires an adapter block supplied by Hawkins that is notched to fit and completes the bottom side of the header beam allowing the hinge mount to be tightened onto the header beam. On the 606 and the 608 C heads, each hinge mount requires a spacer block to fill the space between the tin of the back side of the head and the lower end of the hinge mount. Early 612C heads, four adapter blocks are supplied but no spacer blocks are needed. The 612C head utilizes the diagonal tube on the back side of the head to anchor the hinge mounts rather than spacer blocks. It should be noted that we have found that the newer, larger heads do have a tubular header beam throughout. We recommend that you inspect the header beam design on all John Deere C heads before ordering a corn reel. The focus of the remainder of this video will be on operational recommendations and suggestions. The Hawkins corn reel has been in production since 2005 and continues to be a leader in the egg industry. Hawkins has continued to produce a strong, reliable, and versatile corn reel to meet the demands of harvesting storm-damaged corn. The fore and aft option was introduced in 2011 and has been a strong reason for the selection of the Hawkins corn reel by customer after customer. The original Hawkins corn reel video covers each and every feature of what many feel today is the best corn reel and the best fluff reel on the market today. Our number one goal at Hawkins remains the same, keeping you safely in the cab and moving through the field year after year. When you're going in and out of down corn, it's best to carry the reel with the paddles just above ear height. That way, as you are approaching down corn, the reel doesn't have far to travel. The reel comes down slowly, and it's best to anticipate your approach to down corn. Half-standing corn will feed just fine, unless dry conditions create added flow. In fluff conditions, you'll want to use your fore and aft option to bring the paddles closer to the feeder house to clean out that fluff. The larger heads naturally have more fluff issues caused by more product being fed into the head. At this point, we've reached the need for the reel and have lowered it into the stocks, slowing down as needed. When you are in a two-thirds down corn situation, you will want to run the reel down and only as deep as it takes to move product. Running the reel paddles too deep can cause a wrapping issue. In most cases, while in one-third standing corn conditions, even if the reel on occasion knocks an ear off, it will land on what has now become a mat of product and feed right on into the head. And one final tip here. 
When having the advantage of auto steer operating, it helps to push towards the stocks where they are broken over. This will give you a little more open area to get the point of the row dividers into and to lift the down corn off the ground. Running a little closer to the stocks will give an advantage in picking up corn. The storm damage in this field was caused by a strong north wind, laying the corn down in a southeasterly direction. While conditions and situations vary greatly, in this case it was best to pick in one direction, from south to north. You may find yourself able to pick in both directions, only one direction, or even crossways. It may be necessary to wait until drier afternoon conditions exist in order for the product to travel up the snoots and reach the paddles. Combine specific hydraulic kits are included with each Hawkins corn reel. These pictures show the selector valve mounted to the 606C head, as well as the hoses connected to the single point block on the combine. Here you can see the fore and aft components and positions. As mentioned, fore and aft is a popular option on the Hawkins corn reel. As conditions change through the day, you can easily place the paddles in the best possible location to feed product. While in fully standing crop, the Hawkins corn reel may be easily raised hydraulically from your line of sight. Other distinct features include narrow clearance to help prevent corn draping over the outside dividers with adjustable paddle placement. Reel tube couplers allow expansion from four row all the way out to 18 row, as well as allowing you to run your reel as a fluff reel only. All in all, the Hawkins Down Corn Saver and Fluff Mover will provide the strength and efficiency you need during harvest time, and will keep you safely in the cab year after year harvest after harvest. If you have questions about the Hawkins corn reel or need help finding a dealer near you, don't hesitate to call the fine folks at Hawkins Manufacturing. 800-382-6171《Hawkins Manufacturing》是 dedicated to making the world's best farmers even better。